Hi guys and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of how to create number only text box. Okay, if I select any of the text box in there and I click on any of those characters, look at it, nothing is happening. But as soon as I click on numbers, look at that. Okay, so what I am going to do now is I'm going to take you guys straight into C Sharp development environment and we put one of these together. So let's do that now guys. Hi guys and welcome to C Sharp tutorial of how to create numbers only text box. On all these text box they should only accept numbers. So to do that I'm going to select every single text box in here. Then go straight to the properties and select event. Inside the event we want key press that is it right there so I'm going to give that key press a name I will call it numbers only there we go press enter there and that's it we now have our procedural area defined as you can see there's not a single line of code in here apart from the one we're going to be entering in the numbers only so first of all, I'm going to say char, and um, for you guys to, to know, you see this char actually represent a character value, a character value type, and hold a single Unicode character value. Okay, but I'm going to be using it to take care of this number only. So I'm going to declare a variable that I will call nums only now. So let's come in here. We just call that nums only. Get rid of all of that and change this to lowercase. There we go. Nums only. And nums only will be equals e dot key char. Okay. Which means the keyword is a char character. So I'm now going to use an if statement if not that's how you write it not char dot is digit that is it right there and that we hold a parenthesis inside our very parenthesis I'm gonna enter my variable that is called nums only and nums only is not equals Eight. In that case, we want as follows: e dot handle, and that will be equals true, and that's all the rest to it. With these few lines of code in here, you'll be able to prevent any character to be entered on the text box. So I'm going to run the program now. Let's just click on run there so just to let you guys know that it's working I'm going to add on screen keyboard so in there make sure the cursor is in there you see when we press any of these there's nothing happening but as soon as I click on any of the number character look at it let's try any other one come in here so like I said with that few lines of code you can see what how to add a constraint onto your text box or how to make sure you convert the whole lot to numbers only so let me show you guys the lines of code again minimize this and right there that is the lines of code from here down here okay um, with that I'm gonna call it the end of this brief tutorial so see you guys later and bye for now.